Let's learn about mapping in Solidity. Mapping is a very important concept which allow us to track the data into the smart contract. So in this video, we're going to focus on the mapping that how you can define the mapping. What are the value types? What are the data types? What is the string type? How you can inherit a contract into the mapping? So to create a mapping, this is the exact sentence. You have to define the keyword mapping. Then you have to define the key type and the value type. So the key type can be built in any types like it could be a byte, it could be a string, it could be any other contract and the value type can be include only mapping or array. So these are the two things you have to keep in mind. Now let's see the examples. So let's define the license identifier, MIT, define the solidity versions. Now let's write the first contract and this contract we're going to call mapping because we are learning mapping. So let's call it mapping. And in this, I'm going to take a variable, okay, mapping from address to UNT. So we're going to create a mapping and that we're going to provide the address and we'll get the UNT back. That's how we're going to create the mapping. So let's create it. So we're going to call mapping address to UNT. It's going to be public and mapping. So this my mapping will contain all the addresses, all the data. It's just like a big basket and that we have all the users, all the addresses. With this ID, we can identify that which user we want to take from that basket. So that's how the mapping work. So that's mapping we have. Let's come down. We're going to create a function and this will call get mapping. Sorry, get. And this mapping will allow us to get that particular individual from the big basket. So we'll take this address. We'll take the public view and it will return the UNT because it will return the ID of that particular user. And here we're going to define mapping always returns a value. It will always return a value whether you define or not. But if you don't define that, it will return a default value, default value. So what is the default value of a number? Default value of a number, default value of an address, default value of a Boolean. So everything is covered. Make sure to follow the previous video, okay? So that's the default value. Let's come here. And here we're going to return the address. So my mapping is the entire basket and that we are passing the address. So when we do that, we can easily able to get that ID. So that's the very first function which allow us to get the ID of that particular user. Now let's come down. We have to create another function. We'll say set user. So we want to set the user into that mapping. So for that, we need two data. We need an address and we need the ID. So we're going to create an ID. We'll say public because we are doing the changes in the state variable. Mapping is a state variable. So here we're going to create a comment. So update the value at this address. We're going to target our mapping and we're going to pass the address into that and we're going to assign an id and that id is coming in the form of i so that id is totally up to you that what id you want to assign you can do it programmatically whenever someone will click or create the account uh, id get generated and that's what we have done in our nft marketplace so if you haven't followed that project make sure to watch and that you will have a complete idea that how we are assigning an id to uh, every single nft or every single user so you have these two options one you can add it programmatically or you can take from the user that what ID they want. But when you take the ID from the user, it's create a complicated, it's create a problem because what will happen on that time, same user, like two different user can provide the same ID and that's can create the problem. So that's the thing you have to keep in mind. But here I want to teach you the concept of mapping. That's why I'm going in this way. So it looks fine. Now let's simply close it. So this is this two function we have. We have the get mapping and a set mapping. Now let's create a, another function. This will say remove mapping. So we have a data. We have a huge list of users into our mapping. But sometimes what happened that we want to remove certain data from there and we can use it. So for that, we need the address that whom we want to remove. So it's going to be a public and we have to simply call the our mapping. So we have to re reset the value of the default. And how we can do that? This is how we can do it. So we'll say delete my map and in that we have to pass the address. And that's the pretty only thing you have to do. We have this special keyword in solidity which allow us to delete the element and it is what it is. So that's the function we have. Hope you guys have understood that how you can get, how you can set and how you can remove in the mapping the data nested mapping and nested mapping is a very important concept which you have to know that how you can get the data from the nested mapping and set the data there so what we can do let's come here we're going to create another contract and we'll call nested mapping and in that i'm going to create a nested mapping so this is how the general structure of the nested mapping look like so this time what we're going to do is we're going to create a mapping from address to another mapping so if we provide an address of a user and that will return a particular mapping related to that user, 
Every single user will have a mapping. So that's what we are doing here. So that looks pretty fine. Let's create a mapping address and this will call mapping. And in that we'll have this UNT, it will return the Boolean public and this is the call. We're going to call it nested. Hope this makes sense. So this is the this is the syntax which you have to follow if you want to create a nested mapping. So we have mapping, we are passing the address of the user and with the help of that address, we are getting another mapping which contain all the informations of that particular user. That's how it works. And that's the only thing we have to know. So that's the mapping we have. Let's create a function. We'll say get and we have to get as it is say. So we're going to pass the address. We're going to pass the ID and it will return the run the Boolean. So it will return the Boolean. So we'll say you can get value from a nested mapping. And here what we can say even when it is not initialized. So it will return me the nested and we have to pass the ID and the address and the ID. And this will give you the data of that particular user, which is a true or false, because that's what we are returning. So with this function, what we are checking that the address we are providing, is it really there in our nested mapping or not? If it's there, then it's return true. If it's not there, then it's return false. Now let's create another function. This will allow us to set. So we want to set users into this nested mapping. So again, let me take our address one. It will take the UNT ID and it will take the boolean and that's what we're going to provide so if a user will get created he will provide his address he will provide his id he will provide the bool value because initially boolean value is false so at the time of setting it's become true so let's come here we're going to call this nested address and bool and that's the only thing you have to do so this will become this will set the user into a nested mapping let's create another function for removing it will take the address and the id it will come public and here we're going to simply delete that user from the nested mapping and that's pretty much so that looks pretty fine you can see we have learned about all these functions so we have created like single mapping we have created nested mapping so that's how you can see this is the nested and this is the single here we have all the contract which we have written about the nested mapping and a single mapping so let's come here let's deploy the contract so here you can see here we have two contracts first one is mapping and second one we have the nested mapping so click on the first one and deploy the contract the contract is got deploy you can see the green tick and if i come here if i click in this here we got three functions sorry four functions so if i come here the very first mapping contract have these four function and the reason why we have this my mapping here as well because we have assigned public so when you assign public keyword it will create a getter functions and that's you can easily able to identify so first thing order what i want to do is i want to set a new user so we're going to use this for function so let's open it one and this time i'm going to pass let's say let's come here let's go copy this address and that's the address i'm going to pass here and the id i want to assign is the 12 that's the one i want to do and i will simply call transaction so the transaction went successful and i know that i know the id so here i want to provide the address address so if i want to know the user i can simply pass the address and i can call it so if i pass the address you can see i got this 12 and here what we are calling so because of this it will take the address and it will return you the eunt so the, i hope this makes sense to all of you so that's the function we have checked. We have set the set, check the set function. Now let's click on the get function. And in that get function, we have to pass this where it is. We have to pass the address. So to get the user, I have to click on pass, paste the address and click on this. And here you can see we got the data. If you want to remove it, if you want to remove it, you can simply come here and you want to remove that person. And then we're going to simply pass the address. So if you click on this and that's removed. And if I come here, if I click on this get, we don't have that user into this. So it's working pretty fine. So this is the very first function. You have seen all the methods, remove, set, get and mapping. Now let's create on the nested mapping. So let's delete this one. Let's come here and let's deploy the contract. So if I deploy that, you can see here we have the contract and here we got the four functions. So right now we don't have anything. So first thing we have to do is to set. So to set that, what I have to do is I can paste the address. I can paste the let's say ID and I can paste this to let's say something true if I click on this transaction the transaction went successful and that's looks pretty good to me 
now what i want to do is i want to get that user so to get that user i have to paste the address of that user and because we are doing with the nested mapping so that's why we are providing this true data and we're going to pass this five if i call this one you can see the transaction got reverted because i think i have what the id we have given to this user okay so this is the set method we are calling in that we are passing the id okay so we are setting the user and this id is okay this one is the set one and this one is the get one in the get we are passing the address only my bad so not this one this is the function we have created it will take the address and it will take the unt so in that i'm going to pass the address and i'm going to pass the unt if i call this one if i call this get i get an error why it's happening so let's come here and let's paste the address and paste this id what id you have provided let's call the functions i think i have provided the wrong id i forgot the id let's click on this and let's try to like try to create them one more time so what i will do is so this is first thing we have to do is to set the user i'll i'll come here i'll simply paste that and let's call this one to three and this will become hey and if i click on this transaction the transaction went successful and if i want to get that user first thing we have to pass this in this let's call the function and you can see it's a unt type so this will this will take the take the address my bad my bad so first thing we have to provide the address and then we have to provide the three and if i call this one here you can see i got it true this user exists in our nested mapping you can see this is true we got with this function sorry this function we have created nested mapping now i want to get the user it will same thing i have to do here if i come here i'll paste the address and i'll paste this paste this three and if i call this get the transaction you can see here we got the boolean true so it's working fine so that's how you can retrieve the data and simply delete the data the same thing you have to do if you want to set you can set it you can remove it hope this makes sense to all of you guys you guys have understood that how you can create the nested mapping with a single and how uh, sorry how to get a simple mapping and how you can create a nested mapping so that's the only thing i want to cover in this video hope you guys have found this video valuable and if you have any confusion make sure to watch the nft marketplace after completing this course okay so in that you will have a better understanding that how we have utilized this nested mapping for mapping the nfts of the single user and a multiple user so make sure to check that as well so with that i'm ending this video hope you have enjoyed this with this let's move to the next video